Hello, everybody. It's the Carpet Cleaner Show with John and Roger. I'm back from New York now, back in London. Roger's back there in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. It was a great live broadcast last week in the Carpet Cleaning World University. If you didn't catch that, do head over to the group. The link is going to be in the comments to join it. Do check that out. It was really, really awesome. I was with my right-hand man, Ryan, who works for AGB. We were shooting the breeze with Roger here, dropping some value bombs for carpet cleaners and the carpet cleaning industry in this video i want to kind of step away a little bit from my like agb and like what we do and the education and the ads and all that cool stuff if you want to find out about all of that you can just head down to the description all that stuff's in there but what i thought would be really great and really important and i think something that a lot of people would get a lot of value out of is if you are starting out in the carpet cleaning or floor cleaning industry what is the best way to start what's What's the best first steps that you can make? What's the best first investment that you can make in terms of equipment, in terms of education, all that good stuff? Because there is so many people out there that join Roger's group, Carpet Cleaning World and stuff like that, that are just getting into the industry and they join these groups like Roger's to try and learn about it and try and figure out how to get a business like this off the ground. So I think there's huge value in spending this episode talking about that. And I think anybody watching this that's starting out will get some huge value, some concise, actionable advice, maybe your first five steps to start in a carpet cleaning business. Because you know what? There's so much advice out there. There's so much content. And it's really difficult to know, to kind of like filter your way through all of that noise and really understand what should I be doing first? What should I buy first? You know, should I be going out there and spending 40K on that truck mount and a van? Should I just start off with a poor? Should I get my website done first or can I just go and like put some ads on Craigslist or should I just go and make some flyers first and get a portable and put it in the back of my car? What do I do? How do I start? Like I really don't know and there's so much info out there. Roger's one of the industry experts. He's been in the game for 30, 40 years and I think there's no better person on this planet that's got that level of experience that can really advise on this. So Roger, I think this is a great topic for all the beginners out there, for all the people starting up. If you'd like to just sort of share with those viewers what you think would be the best sort of five things, five steps someone can do when they're kind of starting out to really get that traction and get the ball rolling with their first carpet cleaning business. Over to you, buddy. Thank you, John. Five steps to starting a carpet carpet cleaning business and not a carpet cleaning hop. Number one, a business plan that scares carpet cleaners. They don't want to hear that. They want to get a piece of equipment and somebody lied to them and told them that it was going to just happen. That's not the way it works. You have to start with a business plan. I don't care if you're selling t-shirts on the weekend. You should have a business plan so you can have some longevity and so you can make a sellable business. So many people have hobbies in the carpet cleaning industry and they never, ever converted into a business. And why? How can I say that? Because when they do decide to, you know, shut the business down or sell it or whatever, all they get is the value for the equipment that is already depreciated from the first time they have used it. So if they bought a truck mount for 40000 by the time they sell it, maybe 10, 15 years later, they're only getting 10000 for it. And that's it. They don't have a database that they can sell. They don't have current clients. They don't have ads grows your business type situation that's constantly sending their business money. If you've been in a carpet cleaning business for any length of time, you should be able to sell it. If you started, say, 40000 you should be able to sell it for at least 100000 at least. But they don't do that. Another thing. Before we get to explaining the step one, the carpet cleaning industry isn't appreciated. People don't understand that you're cleaning for help. And carpet cleaners just don't open their mouth and they don't explain. You're not cleaning for the appearance. The appearance is a result because you clean for health. Of course, if you clean for health, the carpet's going to look healthier. It's not going to be crunchy. It's not going to be sticky. It's not going to be visibly darker or dingier. That's just the result of cleaning for health. But how many of us even think that way when we start a carpet cleaning business? We're just as bad as the customers we serve. 
we're like, oh, we're cleaning for the appearance. If the carpet doesn't look clean, it's not clean. That's not true. And the first thing you have to do is start a business plan. Now, I know, and you have to be honest with yourself. You probably don't know how to start one. So at the Carpet Cleaning World University, we have a partnership with RLMA Services that will help you do a business plan. In the business plan, you will create a marketing plan. In the marketing plan, you will understand how you have to upsell. We don't like the word upsell. We like the word upgrade. And then in a business plan, you will already know from the start, you will need to talk to Ad Grows Your Business. You will need to talk to House Hall Pro. You will need to talk to So Tell Us. All the things, because see, I know once you get started and you get a little machine and you're excited, you didn't clean your mom's house, you didn't clean all her friends, you didn't clean your in-laws, you didn't clean your co-workers, guess what? Your neighbors, that's done in a month. After that is all, then that's done in a month. Now. You're like, oh, wait a minute. I need business. I don't have any work. This isn't it's the way it's supposed to be. So then you fumble around. You try to do ads or something on Google. You try to do ads or something on Facebook yourself. And you put all kind of money out, thousands and thousands of dollars. You don't even realize it because, see, those $25 a days, those $30 a days. And then if you talk to Facebook theirself, because they'll eventually try to reach out to you, they'll tell you, oh, if you don't spend $500 a week, you're not really going to get anything. If you don't spend $1,000 a week, you're not going to get anything. So you start buying into this and now you start borrowing money. You just get yourself in all this debt. No, stop, don't. A business plan when RLMA anyway helps you this is why we turn you on with John and House Call Pro. John helps you get the leads. House Call Pro is your CRM system that keeps everything in order. And so tell us, make your sure clients give you a review after each job. And they put it not just on Google. They put it on your website. They put it on your Yelp page. They put it on your Facebook page. They do it all for you. Your job is not to hold every hat and do every job. Your job is to manage everything. If you want to do so much work, then just get a job. Just work for someone else. But when you own a business, you have systems in order. That's the word, systems. So the first tip is business build your plan. business plan. The second step is to get your systems in order. Because I'm going to tell you, after the first month and you didn't clean your mom, your in-laws, and all your neighbors and co-workers, now you're sitting home and you're wondering, oh, I'm hungry. I want to work. I want to work. What do I do? And now once you get in desperate mode, you start making desperate decisions. And that's when your business starts failing right away. You want to understand, first of all, what clean cleaning is. A lot of cleaners that have been in business for 30, 40, even 50 years do not know what the definition of cleaning is. So before you even get started, let me tell you what the definition of cleaning is. Cleaning is the science of controlling contaminants. Now, why is it the science of controlling and not removing. Let me tell you why. Because if you over wet a carpet and you don't dry it, you're not removing pollutants. You're adding to it because you're adding mold and mildew because you're leaving too much moisture in the carpet, in the padding, in the flooring, in the fiber. But if you take the time and understand how you want to extract properly all the moisture you put in the carpet to remove the contaminants, then it's going to dry properly and the contaminants are removed. So cleaning is not the science of removing contaminants. It's the science of controlling contaminants, and that is what you're doing. Now, try to go into one of your customers' houses and say, ma'am, I don't know if you know this, but we're not just here. We're not here to cleaning the carpet. You want it to look good. Of course we want it to look good, but that's just a result of what we're here to do. We're here for cleaning for the health purposes. The result is just the carpet's going to look better. It's going to feel softer and all that goodness. But ma'am, the science of controlling contaminants is what cleaning is all about. Try to say something like that. Earn your respect. Say something like that when you're in your ad. When John from Ad grows your business, you send you a lead. 
and your lead just wants to tell you, oh, my carpets look dirty. Oh, well, ma'am, by the time your carpet looks dirty, it doesn't need to be clean. It needs to be restored. You don't want to wait till your carpet looks dirty, ma'am, because now we have to do a restoration instead of a cleaning. See, when you say things like this, because you wrote a business plan, because you have systems, that's one and two of the first five steps of starting a carpet cleaning business. Now, this is the part where you're probably not going to like me. You can't start a carpet cleaning business for $500. You can't start a carpet cleaning business for $1,000. You can't even start a carpet cleaning business for $5,000. You might be able to get in at 10, maybe. But see, like I just told you, when you start, like I have a gentleman that we're working with RLMA services right now. John, he'll be reaching out to you. Part of the setup when you come through the Carpet Cleaning World University, we help you with your business plan. We help you get your systems in place like John, House Call Pro, So Tell Us. But then we give you all the pricing. Well, first, we turn you on to John. We turn you on to House Call. So you already know what all your pricing is. So when you know what you have to spend in a month, every month for your systems to be in place, this is how you're running a real thriving business. You shouldn't have to figure out every month how you're going to get your next job. That's John's job. You shouldn't have to figure out every month how you, what database you're going to use to keep your clients in order. That's how it's called pro's job. And the last thing you shouldn't have to figure out is how you're going to get reviews. Reviews are the lifeblood of your business. Nobody believes you. What somebody else say is 10 times more infinite than what you'll ever say about yourself. So when you have all these systems in order and you know already how much they're going to cost every month, now you have a started business plan. Okay, I know what my expenses are every month to make this business work. Now you need a piece of equipment. No, you shouldn't start with a truck mount for twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. No, no way, not at all. I don't care. I have I'm friends with most of the uh, truck mount manufacturers, and they're probably going to hate me for telling you this, but I'm just going to be honest. You need to get your feet wet and know how to clean first. Because see, when you buy a truck mount, not only are you trying to learn how to clean, you're trying to learn how to maintenance your machine. Oh my God, that's crazy. Can you understand you're in a job trying to figure out how to get a stain or spot up and now something goes wrong with your truck mount machine? Anything, a hose could get blocked, the heat couldn't work, a sensor could go, whatever. And now you're like, ah, ah wait a minute. I just figured out how to get this stain out and now my machine's not working right. So now you're at this client's house. You just figured out what you're going to do to get the stain removed. But now you got to go outside for a half an hour, 45 minutes to fix your machine. Your customer's going to be freaking out. You're going to be freaking out. So no, I urge you to start with the portable. Once again, at the Carpet Cleaning World University, if you go through our training class, besides John's House Call Pro, so tell us, we will connect you with the manufacturer to buy your equipment. We will help you get all your tools. But not only that, then you'll get a ride along with me out here in Pottstown, Pennsylvania for three days. So say you buy a portable. I got that already in my arsenal. We will put my load my portable up in my truck and we will go out and we will do jobs. Thank you, Roger. The description's down below for the group. If you're an existing carpet cleaning business owner and you'd like to find out more about working with us, AGB, getting you booked out with our specialist marketing system, you'll find all the details down below. And also, I'd like to just say as well that Roger and his team, they don't just work with new businesses. They work with existing businesses that may have some bottlenecks, some problems with their business. Roger's there. He'll come in. He's going to help you solve any of those issues and help you not just survive, but thrive and take your carpet cleaning business to the next level so we'll see you on the next video guys i hope you enjoyed it we're going to be dropping some more value next week have a great day have a great week happy spring